Hey guys, Silver Shady here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Monday. And, uh. Alright. So, this one's been a little bit interesting. Originally, what this was supposed to be was this supposed to be, uh, week four of Plasma Month. My plan for that was to use the deck wizard to build my possible deck that I would then take into a tournament to see how bad I get my ass handed to me using the deck wizard and possible deck challenge. Thought it would be a fun way to end out the month. <sighs> yeah, they, uh, they changed how the deck wizard works. So that's not going to happen. So uh, I'm going to have to push week four of Plasma Month ahead to next week. Next week, I'll just do a profile. I have a deck set aside. I just get away for the trade to complete, which hasn't yet. I don't know when it's going to, but as soon as it does, be able to bring that deck and uh, finish out Team Plasma Month. Uh, in the meantime, though, happy National Pokemon Day. Uh, I figured, yeah, what the hell. Seeing as we... Uh, National Pokemon Day, I figured, why not? We'll, uh, we'll go over a deck centered around Pokemon's mascot. Pikachu. So. Just one moment, I'll show you the deck. Okay. Okay, so, getting right into this, uh, literally the main reason I built this deck, uh, was a National Pokemon Day. I figured, why not? Let's go for Pikachu mascot of the entire series, and on top of that, Silver Pika has been begging me to build a Pikachu deck. So, here you go. We're going to start off right off the bat with the Pikachu EX. Uh, this is the one that came in the box. It also was in the red and blue collections, which is the art I have. Uh, 130 HP Pokemon EX Lightning type. Really frail. Very, very frail. However, it also can be pretty powerful. Uh, for one colorless energy, Iron Tail, uh, you flip a coin until you get tails, and it does 30 damage times the number of times you get heads. Uh, and then for one lightning and two colorless energies, you do over spark for 50 damage. You discard all electric energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded. Uh, nice finisher attacker. But, yeah. Uh, we also, we run three copies of the other one, and we run one copy of this. Uh, personally, I, if I had more of them, I think I would have run a couple more of these, maybe as a 2-2 split. Uh, this is the other Pikachu EX that was in the Battle Heart tins. Again, 130 HP, uh, but its attacks are a little bit different. Its first attack being for a lightning and a colorless. Thundershock, 30 damage, you flip a coin. If heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Paralyzed, not a fun condition. We all know that by this point in time. And then for two lightning energies and one colorless, we have Mega Thunderbolt for 160 damage and you discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. For the same amount of energy that you discard by fully loading up the other Pikachu, this one does 10 more damage. So, personally, I actually prefer this one. But, unfortunately, I only have one of them. And I kind of had to... Kind of rush to build this deck. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Anyway. Uh, we also run four copies of the... Adorable Generations Pikachu with Nuzzle. Uh, 60 HP, basic. For one colorless energy, you flip a coin. If heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed... Not bad for stalling, and then for two colorless energies, quick attack for 20 damage, and you flip a coin if heads, 10 more damage. So, nothing really too, too special there. Mostly we're going to try to use Nuzzle with it, though. And because we have a lot of coin flippers, we run two copies of Victory Star Victini, also nicknamed Fliptini, because Victory Star, once during your turn, after you flip any coins for an attack, you may ignore all effects of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. Uh, you can't use more than one Victory Star ability each turn. Only reason we run two 
A, just in case it gets knocked out, and B, so we can get it in case we press it. And then lastly, we run two copies of Shame and EX for draw power. Into our supporters, we have four copies of Professor Sycamore, three copies of N, two copies of Lysander, and one copy of Hex Maniac. Uh, this deck only really runs the Victory Star ability and setup, so if you have to use Hex Maniac, you can. Best to avoid it, though. As for our items, we have four copies of Ultra Ball, four Max Elixirs to try to help accelerate as much energy onto the board early as we can, naturally. Um, we have four copies of Crushing Hammer and one copy of Enhanced Hammer, mostly for energy disruption purposes. We run two copies of Max Potion. The main reason we run two copies of Max Potion in this list is because after a Pikachu EX unloads entirely, perfect opportunity to use, say, a Max Potion. It has no energy on it anyway, you might as well. So. One copy of Energy Recycler, and this is mostly because both of our Pikachu EX attackers dump energy into the discard pile, so having a way to shuffle those back into the deck was going to be really beneficial to us. And one copy of Energy Retrieval for immediate uh, energy recovery. Lastly, we run one copy of Switch and the standard four copies of Versus Seeker. And then to round it out, we have three copies of Fighting Fury Belt to try to bulk up our uh, Pikachu EXs a little bit and try to make them able to take a hit. And lastly, we run 13 copies of Lightning Energy just to make sure we can hit them with Max Elixir and to ensure we have enough to go around. So, uh, this is a list that is mostly in testing. It's more of a fun list. So, uh, we're going to take this into a couple of games, see how she does, go from there. Alright, so we hit a uh, Colorless Fire Psychic deck, and for some reason it seems to think we have the advantage. Also, Pikachu deck, yes, I did switch the coin for this deck specific, uh, specifically. We're going to call heads on it and see if we can't. Yeah, no. Alright. Uh, okay, so we're going to be allowed to go first. Okay. I'm certainly not complaining about that. I'm just kind of surprised. Alright, uh... Looks like we actually have a decent starting hand, so... Oh, we hit Vulcanian. Right. That's gonna be fun. Oh, what do I want to do? Alright, let's, uh, let's grab another Pikachu out of the deck here. I guarantee you our opponent is thinking that we're running Raichu, which is gonna be sorely mistaken, because we're not. Uh, this is it. Uh, we're going to end our opponent. Probably a horrible fucking idea, but might as well. Alright, and... Eh, we don't hit a whole lot. But it is what it is. What we are going to do, however, is we're going to discard both of our Lysanders here. Go ahead, go into the deck, and grab our other Pikachu EX, the one with Thundershock. Any luck. Alright. Yeah, we are definitely hitting our energies uh, more readily this time. So we're going to go ahead and pass our turn to our opponent. And we'll see what they play. Our opponent has got to be wondering what the hell we're playing at this point in time. Because <laughs> I know if I'd be looking at my side of the field, I, I, I would have no, no clue at this point. Lugia and a Vulcanian list. Alright. Okay. Oh, you're gonna crush... Oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Which one is he discarding? Yep. Had a feeling. Damn. Alright. Fighting Fury Bell goes on the Lugia, of course. Uh, the good news is the Lugia is weak to electric. Small benefit. I think what we'll probably do is we'll probably just play until we lose or something. Just something fun. 
And we drawn to N. Go ahead and attach an energy there. Versus Seeker, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Sycamore out of the discard pile here and use that. Our opponent's only got five cards in hand. Okay. We hit our Flip Teeny. It's certainly not something I'm upset about. Alright, so we failed the uh, Crushing Hammer there, but. Uh, we're gonna save the Sycamore in hand just in case. Go ahead and go in here, grab our Shaman EX out of the deck, try to draw into a couple more cards. See if that can't pull us out of this dead hand we seem to have found ourselves in. Ugh. Yeah, probably not. Alright, we whiff the energy too. Okay, so we're gonna nuzzle. And we hit heads, so we are not going to flip again, as our opponent is paralyzed, so... Uh, yay? Small victories. One step at a time with this deck. Oh, this is going to be an interesting game. I'm still trying to get over why I, uh, the fact that Volcanion is playing a copy of Lugia EX. I mean, it makes sense, but it's not something you normally see. Most times, uh, at least nowadays, Volcanion usually tries to go pure Volcanion at this point. I'm just going to play a Scorched Earth, attach double colorless energy to Lugia. I'm going to attach the Fighting Fury Belt into the Volcanion, but it's, it's paralyzed, so I'm not sure what he was expecting to get out of that, but... Play the Versus Seeker. Grab the Shauna. Yet another card why I don't understand why he's playing. Our... Oh. Okay, that's interesting. So we may see the Pyroar come out of this one. Let me go ahead and grab N here. I hate to end him when he has that much, but I'm not gonna not about to discard two more lightning energies and we are going to need them. Ugh. Yuck. Okay. Grab a crushing hammer here. Hope that hits heads. Yes. Uh goodbye, double colos. I am more than okay with that. Alright, and at this point, we're actually just going to nuzzle our opponent. We hit Tails, we will flip again, and we still hit Tails. Son of a bitch. Alright, is what it is. Uh, the good news is, this is only a one prizer, so if we lose it, no big deal. We'll just send up our bigger, bulkier Pikachu. Plays Flareon, too, so that's interesting. This match is going to go on for a while. Definitely gonna go on for a while. Opponent plays Nest Ball. Uh, Volcanian EX, maybe? Do you even run it? Okay, so either, either he's not running Volcanian EX or he prized it. He's gonna blacksmith and get them onto his active. He's gonna steam artillery us? Yeah! Okay, whatever floats your boat, dude. You do you. Alright, and we're gonna see if we can paralyze him again. This time we're dealing 40 damage every time, though. Yes, we will flip again. Son of a bitch. All right. Man, we are just whiffing all of our coin flips today. But I suppose can't really expect much more than that.
Okay. 130. Our fighting fury belt saved us. Wow. Alright, so we don't have enough energy in the discard pile yet to use our energy recycler. But we will. We're going to go ahead and drop the max potion onto our Pikachu EX here. Play our switch down. Use energy recycler. Drop all those back into the deck. And we're going to use Iron Tail here. Wow. Alright, I'll take those. I'll take uh, three heads on that. That's actually some pretty good damage laid down. And he's now left with only his Fighting Fury Belt saving him. Okay. I'm unbelievably okay with this. Plays another Professor Kukui. So he's going to be able to hit us for 130. I'm surprised he hasn't drawn into his Pyro yet. So he's going to hit us for the 130, which is going to be a knockout, unfortunately. And we're going to send up our Nuzzle Pikachu here, try to stall for a little bit more time. Alright, and we actually hit heads on that one, so we're going to paralyze our opponent. That's got to be annoying as hell. Oh, man. It just clicked on me just how annoying this has got to be. Uh, yeah, we're probably only going to do one match of this, because this is... Yeah. It's kind of fun to play, though. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I will say it's, it's kind of enjoyable to play it, just for the shits and giggles of doing it. It's kind of fun. Alright, so he's going to use Switch to switch into that one to take out our... Uh, Poor little Pikachu here. Man, must have really pissed him off. Now, so we're gonna send up our Pikachu EX here, and maybe we'll I don't know, hit a ton of heads. But uh, either way, yeah, this is definitely most likely gonna be a loss, because, yeah, we're definitely flipping that one again. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, this is just a fun deck to play. It really is. This is nowhere near a serious deck. This is more of just a fun little thing I thought to do. And I was right. It was actually kind of fun to do this one. This is actually enjoyable. So, one's going to blaze ball us for 130, and that will be the game. Kudos to my opponent for putting up with that. That was, uh. Uh. Anyways. But yeah, again, just a fun little deck, just to help us celebrate, uh, and honestly, this is probably one of the better decks to play for what day it is. When it comes down to it, I, I've always viewed Pokemon, it's more about the fun. If you don't have fun while you're doing it, then why the hell are you doing it? And... This is just a fun deck. It's just something I literally threw together just to have fun, just for the shits and giggles of doing it. And I had fun doing it. So, the whole point of Pokemon, it's it all comes down to whether or not you're having fun doing what you're doing. If you're not having fun, there's no point. You gotta have fun with whatever you're playing. Whether you're playing competitively or casually, it doesn't matter. If you're not having fun with it, then why are you doing it? And I, for me, at least, that's what Pokemon's all about. It's always been about that. It's always been about having fun at its core. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Um, if you did, awesome. Uh, I'm actually really glad to hear that. Feel free to leave a comment down below or however you want to do it, and we will see you in the next video.